Hi, this is my monthly March favorites video. Um, it is still March technically. Uh, I just, I told myself I would put up a video once a week and I didn't know what to do. This is about a camera angle. Um, so I figured I would just do monthly favorites because I doubt they're going to change in the next six days. And I have a lot and then I have two ones that are like monthly hate, hater, hatred. <laughs> I just don't like them. Um, so. The first few products I want to talk about are lip products. Two are from the drugstore. One is from MAC. Um, the first two are the Maybelline Vivid lipsticks. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're amazing. They come in like these really cute packaging. They're like $10. I got mine at Shoppers. They're perfect for spring, and they're like super pigmented. If you have seen my boyfriend does my makeup video, he used this on me, and I didn't even ever try it since he used it on me, and then I was like, oh my god, I love it. So... I really like this color and they're super moisturizing. I have very dry lips, so I find when I put them on like now, I can just put them on. I don't even need to use a primer. They're just like super nice. Love this. This is actually a Shocking Coral and it's number 870. It doesn't look so shockingly coral in the video. Maybe this is because I have a shitty camera. Sorry about the language, but this is a swatch here. It's not even a good swatch. And this is the other one, which is the Hot Plum. Hot Plum. They have a whole collection of them. I like. I want to go and buy them all because they're so pretty. Like I said, ten bucks. Super moisturizing. Drugstore. Perfect for spring. You can't really go wrong. It's just like yes, I love these. Next one is from Mac. It is a. I think it is a sheer. Oh no, sorry. It's a Mac Glaze. Um, I really wanted to go for a matte, but then I tried the matte on and it like made my lips super dry like and cakey, so I didn't go for it. It is a nude. It is in the color Hue. I got it with a lip glass, but I don't remember what the lip glass is. Um, and this is the color. You can't really see. It's this one here. It's just a really nice pinky nude, and it's almost a little bit brown. So the next product I'm going to talk about are cheek products. Um, let's see what I have here. So I have three different cheek products that I'm liking for spring. The first one is a new product from Clinique. It looks like this. It is the Cheek Pop Collection. This one is in Peach Pop. I love the packaging of this. You can see exactly how much product you're getting in there. It's not like secretive and hiding. And it's so cute. It looks like a little flower, um, which you would think would make it hard to get on the brush, but it actually like gets really well on. Like, And it's super pigmented. Like It's just really nice. And this is in Peach Pop, but they have also a really nice one in like... Um, in a plum pop, but it looks works better on like people with blonde hair and that kind of skin tone. But I definitely recommend these. I'm not really much of a Clinique girl in any sort of way. So when I saw these, I was like, eh. But so many people recommended them on YouTube. So I was like, let me try. And I was like, I love them. So definitely go get and get one of those. Next is my new alien UFO spaceship. That's a, the worst imitation ever. This is um what is this? Jokes. This is a Becca highlighter. It really does look like a UFO. Or like I don't even know like some sort of... I don't, I don't even know what this looks like. But you can see it. If you can see it, it says Becca on it. Um, but it is a highlighter. I recently became obsessed with highlighters. I was using my Stila Kitten eyeshadow for the longest time. But it was like way too shiny and it just made me look like... Like trying too hard. If we could say that. Um... This is a little bit pricey. This is the color Moonstone. I think it was like $40, about $42 at Sephora. But like if you see it, it's really, really pigmented. It definitely picks up the light a lot. I use it just sort of like on my cheekbones here. Let me see what you on. Normally I just use it with the um, Duo Fiber Brush. I'm using it with my fingers. It really doesn't do it justice. Oh, maybe a little bit. See, anyways, it really picks up the light. It really does its job. It comes with actually a huge, huge mirror, which is so great because every, like all the little NARS ones with like the tiny mirrors and you're trying to look at it and you're like, <laughs> yeah, no. Definitely recommend picking this up. Like I said, it's a little bit pricey. And there's another one in Opal um, that was all out of stock. I originally wanted this one, uh, that one, but Moonstone does the trick for me. So the next one I'm going to talk about is, I guess, eye slash eye area. Um, the first one is my new duo for brows. I only recently started working on my brows and it has literally changed my life. I look back at pictures of me when I didn't have my brows done and I was like, who are you? Like, 
you do not look like a human. So the one I'm loving right now is the Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. Um, it comes with this little like spoolie thing at the end, which is perfect for like making sure they're brushed and combed in the mornings. Um, and then the actual eyeliner looks like this. It's one of those twist up brow pencils, which I know a lot of people don't like because they've been known to break. But like I've had no issues with this and it's just so... Like, it just goes on really small and neat, so you can just sort of go and get every single brow as well as when you get to the front, just use a lighter hand, because I like sort of like an ombre effect with my brows, darker near the end, and then sort of like fades in on the, at the front. So I use that with my Benefit Give Me Brow Gel. What? Yes. Benefit Give Me Brow Gel. I got this at Shoppers. I got my Anastasia Brow Wiz at Sephora. It literally is like the perfect brow gel. It's in light medium. The brush is so cute. <laughs> just makes me, it's like the babiest brush you've ever seen. It's perfect for getting like the little hairs at the front. Um, I will recommend though, if you do get it, just wipe the product off on the side because if a lot of the times I get too much product and it gets right up under my eyelid and then I have to go back in with my concealer and sort of clean that area up. But, oh, I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh. Yeah, just really love this. It's a perfect brow gel. Anastasia also has a clear brow gel, which I bought too, but like, this is just, this just takes the cake. So, definitely my favorite brow gel. What else did I say? Eyes. Ah. I can't even begin to explain my feelings about this. This is like my favorite mascara of all time. My holy grail of mascaras. It's YSL's baby doll. It was like $30 and totally worth the money. I love how it has the little YSL thing at the top with the gold packaging and you can just like open it. It looks really cute. The wand isn't really... Like it's not anything like I hate those ones with the huge like the huge puffy wands and you're trying to get your eyelashes and they're like all getting at one time and it's super clumpy and you're like what is this or the ones that are like bendy and you're like Ugh, no so this I really like it it's really tiny it's really precise it's perfect for like lower lashes demonstration I wish my lighting was better this beautiful um Aroma water. It's a toner water from Lush. I love Lush because they use like really natural stuff, essential oils, all that. So this is like super inappropriate. Um, natural oils and all that stuff. It, I needed a good toner to sort of balance. I had a lot of redness um, and like discoloration in my face, like just random spots in the morning. I was like, this is not cute. So I went to the store. They recommended this, and I absolutely love it. Like it. Put it on my face. My face was refreshed. It smells like lavender, so it's like it's also a distressor. I'm just like, oh, I could go to sleep with you. It's just like the literally like just smells. I am just smelling. You smell it, and it's like oh, instant distressor. Like I'm, I, I think it's a lavender in it because it's a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrates dry, sensitive, or mature skin without causing it to overreact. So it's really nice, you just use it, you can spray it on your face, or you can use it with a cotton pad and wipe it on. I don't really like wiping my face at all with anything. <laughs> so um, I do like to just spray it on. The next thing I have isn't really a beauty product, it's more of like a health product. I put on my Instagram, um, it is the Carlson Norwegian Cod Liver Oil, and I absolutely love this stuff. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with it because I find that it it's basically... <laughs> It's perfect for, what does it say? Helps to maintain eyesight, skin membranes, and immune function. And I really think that since I've been taking it, I do a shot a day, um, I really think that I can tell a lot of difference in my skin. My skin has been like more regulated and my body, like I can just feel like, I just, I feel like I can, I feel better after taking this. And like I stopped taking it for a few days when I got sick. Um, I had just had like a stomach flu. My skin just got like super dry and I didn't know if it was that or the virus, but either way, like I really like this. It was $51. I got it from the nutrition house. And as you can see, like for $51, if you're taking a shot a day, it's going to last you a long time. So, I mean, I really like it. This one tastes like lemon. You can also buy it in like a pill form. So this is my little shot glass of cod liver oil. This is what it looks like. It just smells like lemon. It smells like lemon juice in there, so you're thinking it's going to be okay, but... Cheers. Oh, I don't want to do it. Mm -mm. No. Not a thing. Oh, man. There's still more left. 
do not like this. No, no, no. I definitely prefer tequila. It's an awesome, awesome product. I definitely recommend this. So my last face product is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It is Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. You use it um, right before you apply your moisturizer at night. Just comes in this little, like, cute little bottle. A little, like, thingy. So just, what is this? Like a, what is this called? A dropper? Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically to prevent, I think, like, aging and to keep your skin sort of, like, recovering during the night. It was pretty expensive. This bottle was $75. Um, but I really do like it. I only use it about three times a week right before I put on my moisturizer before I go to bed and it's basically like a preemptive strike against aging. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about that I love are, is this nail polish. It is a very cute baby pink. It is very cute for spring. Um, if you see it, it's just like a really nice pink. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It was $6, which is a steal. It actually, you can see it here, I did like a little Nicki Minaj style line on my nail when I was bored. It's Board is a bofo earlier. Um, and this one is in the color Lola. Um, I also have one in the color, I also have one in the color Smush, which is like a really nice blue for spring, but um, they have really nice colors and they're cheap. Love it. I went in specifically to get a new mask. I don't know, I'm obsessed with masks. I'm always trying to find a good one. This one is the Love Lettuce Mask. It's a fresh face mask from Lush. It smells really nice. I really wanted to like it. I tried it on the store and like I loved it. Well, you just tried it on my hand. The guy was super cool. Um, you're supposed to keep it in the fridge, so I usually do that. But I just found that after I used it, like my skin was very waxy. So when I used my toner after, like my aroma toner, um, the beads of toner just like hung onto my skin and didn't go anywhere. They were like melting off. They couldn't get absorbed. So I don't know if it just like created a, a weird barrier uh, with my skin or something, but. I just didn't like it, but it has like all vegetarian ingredients in it and it's all stuff like preservative free, so you would think that it would be tonight. A simple scrubby face mask to give a normal to oily skin a radiant glow. No. No radiant glow. Maybe a waxy glow. So yeah, that is it for my monthly favorites of March. Uh, hopefully if you liked any of these products, specifically like Clinique or these. For spring, I definitely recommend going out to buy them. Um, the other ones are basically like staple items that I always use. Those ones are like main ones for spring coming up and um, everything like that. So if you like this video, please like below or subscribe. I'm, I'm going to try to put out a new video every week and hopefully get like a new camera because right now like, I don't know what's up with this camera, but my skin does not look like that in real life. Like if you saw me in real life, you'd be like, damn. No, I'm just joking. If you saw me in real life, you would notice that my eyes do not look like vampire eyes. Like, what is this? No. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe or leave a comment below. Um, and yeah, bye.